Hello everyone, in this video we are going to graph logarithmic function of the form y equals a log of x minus h plus k to the base b with transformation and this is the second part. I will put the link of the first part in the description box below. In this part, the value of a is not equal to 1. So before we move into this example right here, let's have a review on the basics of logarithmic function. We remember that this logarithmic equation here is the inverse of exponential equation. And these are how we arrange the letters and variable in these two e equations. So the base is going to go here. And then this exponent x will be on this side of the logarithmic equation. And we have the y here. And we put the y over here on this side of the logarithmic equation. Now, we, uh, if we look at the arrow here, it goes back and forth. This means that if we want to change a logarithmic equation into exponential, we need to place all of these letters and variables into this form. And if we want an exponential to become a logarithmic equation, we are going to rearrange these three in this way, in this exact arrangement, so that we have, you can go back and forth. Okay, so we go over the uh, problem here. In order that we can graph this, there are some steps that we need to follow. The first step is to determine the asymptote and the locator point and sketch this on the graph. We remember that the locator point is not part of the graph. So I'm going to label this as S1 and then we remember that the asymptote Okay, so the equation of the asymptote can be determined by um, setting up the ones inside the parentheses to zero. So I set up x minus one equals zero, and that's how we got x is equal to one. And then the locator point is this one should be switched and this one should be key, uh, kept. So we go ahead and write one and four is our locator point. And then part of this um, step is to uh, sketch this on the graph. So in this graph that we have here, we go x is equal to one. Again, I'm using a pencil for this because I'm going to erase this once we graphed it already because we remember that the locator point is not part of the graph. Now we're ready to move on to the second step. So the second step is to determine the equation to set up the table. In order that we can determine the equation, we are supposed to cover the H and the K. So I'm going to cover both of them. So then the remaining equation that we have here is Since we have a 3 here, we can get rid of the 3 by dividing both sides by 3, and we divide this by 3, so then we can cross the 3 and 3 out. We are left with y over 3 is equal to the log of x to the base 2. And then from here, we can go ahead and change this to its exponential form. So this would come out 2 to the power y over 3 is equal to x. And this is the equation that we're going to use in order that we can to set up the table. Okay, I'll give you a trick on how to set up the table. First, since our A is 3, we write 0 in the middle and we go down, that would be a negative 3. And this would be a positive 3. So the one that we write on the Y depends on this. Now others are going to say, can we pick a any number on this? Yes, you can pick any number on this one, but then that would be the fastest way so that we can do the math quick. So again, you can pick any number, but I'll give you a trick. You can, if the, if the A is 3, so you go down 3 and then up 3. So that means this is... Okay, so we are now ready to plug these uh, va values into the equation. So we can go ahead and write 2 to the power. Again, the y becomes a negative 3. So that is a negative. So I'm going to write the uh, y that we plugged in. So that's a negative 3 over 3. So this comes out 
2 to the power negative 1. In order that we make this uh, exponent positive, we put it in the denominator, so that would come out 1 over 2 to the power 1, which is pretty much 1 half, which is 0 0.5. That means we are going to the right. So I'm just going to write that right here, so we're going to the right. Now we move on, we do the same thing for the rest of these. We plug this zero into the Y, we plug this three into the Y, and we solve for the X. We're ready to move on to the third step. The third step is to use the table to determine the rest of the points from the locator point and sketch the graph. We remember that the locator point is not part of the graph. Okay, so we've set up the uh, table already. So then we are now ready to um, sketch the graph. So first from the locator point. So we are going to um, determine where do we go. So we start from... Um, three down, so that would be one, two, three down, and then we go 0 0.5 right, so that's halfway, so it's gonna be right here. And so the next one would be zero, so we're not moving anywhere, but we go one right, so I go one right is gonna be right here, so this is the second dot, and then we go three up, one, two, three, and then we go two to the right, one, two, and this is where the other dot is. And so we are now ready to sketch the graph. Again, remember that this line is approaching the um, asymptote, but it's not going to touch it. So it just gets closer and closer to the asymptote, but it's not going to touch it. And this is the graph of this um, equation that we have up here. But we remember that we are supposed to erase the locator point at the end once we've graphed it already, because remember the locator point is not part of the graph. And so we can go ahead and determine the domain and the range for this. So the domain that we have here would be anything, anything that is greater than one. So that would be x is greater than one. Because again, remember this graph can never touch the asymptote, which is one. So anything that is greater than one all the way to the right. Now the range for this is, that's going to be all real numbers. So that's how we represent all real numbers right there. So then uh, on the side, you will see the Desmos version of this graph. You can see that they both match up. The paper version and the Desmos version are a match. That means this is the graph of this um, equation right there. At this time, I would encourage you to pause this video and try this problem out on your own. And when you're done, and pause it and check your answer. Okay, so we go over the uh, problem here. Let's start with the first step. So I'm just going to label this as step one. So for the first step, we are supposed to determine the asymptote and the locator point and sketch this on the graph. And we remember that the locator point is not part of the graph. Okay, so our asymptote is x is equal to negative 3, and the locator point is switch and keep. And then part of this step is to uh, draw these two here, so the asymptote and the locator point on this graph right here. We're now ready to move on to the second step. The second step is to determine the equation to set up the table. So I'm just gonna label this as step two right here. In order that we can determine the equation, we're supposed to cover the H and we cover the K. So once we cover that, whatever's the left over, that would be the equation that we are going to use. Okay, so that would be y is equal to negative 2 log of x to the base 5. Since we have a negative 2, we are supposed to divide both sides by negative 2. So then this would come out.
Okay, so I've set up the exponential form for this. So what I did was I divided this by negative 2 to both sides. And then once we divided it, we're going to change this into its exponential form. And this is the exponential form that we have here would be the one that we use in order to fill in the table. So from the locator point... Okay, so in order that we can fill this table in, since our A is 2, so that means we start, we write 0, we start with 0 in the middle, then we go down 2 and up 2. So this would be negative 2, and this would be a positive 2. So again, it depends on the A. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to do is to plug these values into this equation right here. So we can go ahead and say that would be 5 to the power that's going to be negative 2. So I will use a different color for that. Negative 2 over. That would be a negative 2. So that's a negative 2. So the negative 2, the red one that, that I wrote here is actually this negative 2 right here that I plugged in because that's the y. So then this would come out 5 to the power positive 1 because negative over negative is a positive. So this means that it gives us 5. So that means we go to the right. That is from the locator point. Now, we do the same thing for the 0 and for the 2. Okay, so I've set up the table. So what are we going to do next is we uh, put the rest of the dots here. So we start from negative. So from the vertex, we go down to. So again, that is from the locator point. So from the locator point, we go down negative 2. So that's a negative. So we go down. So 1, 2. And then we go 5 right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this is the first dot. And then the second dot is zeros. So we're not moving from the locator point, but we go one to the right. So I go one right here. And then um, from the locator point, we go two places up. So that's one, two, and then we go 0 0.2 right. 0 0.5 is halfway. 0 0.2 should be closer to the um, asymptote. And so this would be the... Um, so we connect these dots together and this will make up our graph of this equation right here. Again, please remember that when we graph, we make sure that this other tail that we have here of the graph doesn't touch the asymptote. Because again, remember an asymptote is an imaginary line where the graph approaches or gets closer and closer to it, but will never touch it. So be sure that we don't touch this graph with the asymptote. And so we can go ahead and determine the uh, domain for this and then the range. So on this problem here, our domain would be, that would be x, anything greater than negative 3. So that is x is greater than negative 3. And then our range is up and down, so it's going to be um, all real numbers. So I'm just going to put a letter R right here. On the side, you will see the decimals version of this graph. You can see that both graph, the paper version that we have here, and the decimals version on the left side are just actually the same. That's it. Did you get the same answers as this? Good. Perfect. If you find this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya!